Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Um, I know that it has been a while that I have posted any consistent videos. Uh, for those who are, follow me, uh, who are following me on Facebook, probably you do know that I'm quite active on the Facebook and uh, pretty much um, you can find the link to my Facebook page into the uh, description down below. And uh, yeah, you feel free to uh, tune in for a uh, live streams and as well those live, stream are, live streams are containing a free readings. Now the reason why I haven't been a, um, in touch with you guys lately, <clears throat> it is because um, as you probably know I am uh, executing my own personal tarot classes. And now as uh, the main tarot class which is the beginner tarot class, tar which is the beginner's tarot class, it's a uh, <clears throat> it's a on a recorded version currently. Uh, means that you can uh, as soon as you contribute to it, you can uh, have it in your own pace. You are going to get access to the 12 hours of content lectures which are including uh, or are containing a, the uh, profound explanation of the major arcana and uh, also how you can use those uh, major arcana in terms of uh, career, in terms of relationship, as well as if you are looking for those things also, uh, I mean career and relationship and also in the uh, various positions into the spread that I have uh, dedicated for the class and it's pretty much a, a spread that I am using myself as well in my professional readings. Uh, so at the end of this class you are set to do your own uh, personal readings uh, in, or uh, private readings as well, hopefully. <clears throat> and uh, that is not all, you also are going to get a one personal, a free, uh, Not it's not free, it is within the uh, purchase, you know, one personal, a uh, coaching hour with me. Uh, whenever you do have questions, you want to practice, you know, uh, you want to ask me certain things that are, that's, uh, are pretty, uh, that you couldn't get your grab uh, um, upon uh, into the, uh, from the from the videos. Oh my God, what is so difficult to talk today. So yeah, uh, pretty much things that are, are, pretty, uh, are a bit vague and you could not understand from the videos, you can extensively ask me about them in this uh, particular hour. And as well, um, as usual, if you do want a personal reading with me, uh, you can just purchase one from my website. You can find it here into the uh, description down below. And once you uh, set your purchase, upon 24 hours, I'm going to come back to you and um, via email that is, and going to give you a uh, explanation how your reading is going to take place depending on the purchase uh, that you have placed. So that being said, uh, enjoy the show. Uh, I hope that you do like the uh, monthly videos and here you go, your star sign. All right, so uh, that is going to be a Pisces Sun, Moon and as well Rising, a uh, monthly tarot reading for the month of July uh, 2020. And uh, bear with me guys, now in this video, I'm going to use my favorite four card tarot spread and as well in the video as well, I'm going to determine the time frame which the things you start in the month of July are going to develop. So pretty much how long is going to take off the uh, the endeavors for you that you are to manifest through the month of July to bear a result for you. So uh, that being said, the first card for you Pisces that is going to be the Two of Swords. Moving next, we do have the Page of Pentacles. After that is going to be the Ace of Cups and the last one that we do have that is going to be the Six of Swords. So let me uh, give you the time frame here. So the time frame uh, that will be by the end of April next year, uh, and uh, every star sign actually they had it. They had their time frame pretty long. So the months of uh, uh, what I can conclude here, because you Pisces are the last sign uh, that I'm doing, uh, this month of July is going to be a rather big month because things we do will have a, a reflection toward a distant future rather than an immediate result. So for you, uh, Pisces, uh, the month of July is going to be a month where you do swap positions for one or another reason. Uh, in generally, what uh, happens for you, it is that uh, a narrative or rather like a, 
a, a thing you toil over that could be relationship related or it could be career related or maybe both you know or it could be just a, a, about an idea um you are to find actually it's not worth your time uh that that that's all that there is to it and um uh, the real problem for you throughout the months it's not like you're gonna feel um wasted over it okay uh it's just you know you were there you had your fair share of fun or fair share of experience and now you do recognize that trying to proceed forward with it it's just pointless you you you're pretty much gonna waste your time from now on and you're gonna waste your resources now the problem for you however is going to be that if if i can't invest in this thing any longer i mean i can but it's not it doesn't make any sense for me whatsoever what should i what should i invest into right and immediately you ain't gonna have the idea and that will be because th th there won't be anything that will worth your time at least the initial stage of the month sneeze alert oh my god okay so at least at the at the initial stage of the month there won't be any anything that will really is gonna catch your mind uh but as you do progress throughout the month um uh, suddenly some kind of event is going to happen here that is very well uh, identified by the two of swords and the ace of cups that we do have at the third position uh, now that event like i said quite spontaneous quite um, unpredictable as well but it's going to be an, an amazing thing because uh, for uh, rest assured here the very least that this event is going to do is going to make your worries and this uh, and problems that you are carried on with uh, to totally irrelevant. I mean, you you are not gonna see any reason to concern yourself uh, with those things uh, with those things any longer. I uh, just give me a second here to concern yourself with those things any longer. And just to give you an, an example, um, it could play out like that. So you do concern yourself over money, and suddenly you know a proposition for an amazing job with amazing payment comes your way, which makes your concern over money totally irrelevant. Or you do win the lottery, you know, which again makes your concern over money totally irrelevant. You suffer because you have been in a really dramatic breakup recently, uh, and you you are almost overwhelmed by the pain of the emotional uh, of the emotional severance that you do have there and out of nowhere comes the uh, knight on the shine with um, or um, knight wearing the shining armor there is everything you have ever wanted and that emotional pain is no longer there so it's it's quite irrelevant so whatever the event is going to be truly is going to transcend your reality and the whole reason of that event it is to fill up once again a, a a place or rather like a spot in your heart that was previously emptied uh, through a disappointing and uh, through a another disappointing event or a circumstances that you would pretty much would like to avoid uh, back in the days, but that unfortunately did not happen. Uh, now, as we are touch, touching on the emotional connection, uh, one thing I want to warn you about what the car, how the cards are aligning. Now, if there is a, a friend of yours that shows intentions for something more uh, than a friendship, it will be best if you do stay neutral, at least for the duration of this month for one or another reason. So, transcending friendship into a relationship according to these tarot cards is not going to be a good thing whatsoever probably because it's going to be way too rushed or it could be because you are going to burn out very quickly or because you are not ready for the emotional connection out there uh, there could be many reasons uh, yours yours could yours could differentiate from another pisces but the thing is that it will be best for you to wait around now apart from all that the month is going to bring you peace uh peace in the sense of that you're not going to feel yourself rushed and oppressed any longer and that is pretty much a common sense here is because like said you know your previous problems troubles plights you name it uh they are going to become uh, quite quite irrelevant now if you do have a major decisions to make uh, in, for example 
uh, whom should I be with, you know, or for example, what kind of a job should I work? Because I do have a couple of propositions around. Uh, you got to go by the method or the procedure of elimination. What I mean is that you do wait long enough, so only just one option available have been left for you to, to go by with. Um, and the example here is, you know, you kind of like uh, keep your boundaries with the two people that are trying to be with you, okay, or that uh, are showing interest until one of these people no longer shows any interest whatsoever and therefore you do go with the one that it is more persistent. And same thing in terms of career applies. So now, all comes to what happens, uh, what happens at the end of the month and that will be the uh, Six of Swords. So a couple of ways it is how the card could, uh, could play out for you, Pisces. Now, it does depend, is your environment um, uh, dependable on the collective or it's more dependable on your soul performance? Now, if you are, for example, like me, a person who depends on himself only, you know, um, well, for the most part, that is, then the Six of Swords plays a role of a, a card where you dramatically are going to improve your circumstances through that event that it is to happen, which is going to make your previous troubles uh, completely irrelevant. However, to keep on improving the circumstances through that event, or through the foundation that this event gave you, you will have to do some... I would say uh, steps toward an unknown, uh, unknown directions. So you may not feel yourself uh, very prepared for what is to come. Uh, and that is a good thing uh, from, uh, from one side because only good things are to come should you go by with the event that it is to happen. So you remember what we are talking here is about potentials. Should you take that potential that is entirely, entirely up to you. Uh, for those who are dependable more on the collective, you do have a big social circle. You know, you are uh, counting on your family. You are counting on your uh, husband or a wife, boyfriend and so on and so forth. The Six of Swords here points that you will be able to convince or unite, if you will, everybody under a common goal, common cause, or, or under a, a common banner. And together, you know, we all know that, that two heads thinks better than one and uh, you are going to stay united rather than a uh, fall divided moving forward into the future. But if I have to um, pick point things from that reading here, it is uh, the, the, the main course, it is that you should be, I hate the word, but it is a patient enough for that event to happen. Do not rush your, uh, your decisions and do not screw up friendship for an, an unknown unfoldment of a passive uh, of a possible relationship it doesn't look like that is going to end very well if you do rush it right now into the month of July that is just according to my card if you feel ready by all means go for it so that being said that was uh, your monthly tarot reading for the month of July Pisces hopefully you do enjoy it and you liked it guys and we may see each other next time until then bye